Hey guys, I'm doing a video on that sound we've all heard over the years that uh, we think is coming from our stomachs. Uh, we call it our stomach is growling or talking, and it could get very loud when we haven't had food for a while. Um, I'm going to talk about what's really going on there because we've been told that that is hunger pains uh, when we were younger, and what it actually is is called the migrating motor complex. It's also called peristalsis. And what, when you're hearing that loud sound, what you're really hearing is your small intestine is going like this. It's a wave-like motion that's clearing the bad bacteria out of your small intestine. So when you have your next meal, okay, the bad bacteria has been moved out, your food is in your small intestine, and you're getting to absorb the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients because the bad bacteria has been cleared out, okay? That growling sound that you hear is a tremendous sign of health. You want to hear that. It's a good thing, okay? What happens is the stresses of life, poor eating habits, for a lot of people, start to shut down the migrating motor complex. The peristalsis almost comes to a complete halt. It's no longer moving out the bad bacteria. It's staying like this. The bad bacteria now remains in the small intestine. You eat your food and that bad bacteria starts feeding off of the food robbing you of your vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. As time goes on, you get an overgrowth of this bad bacteria in the small intestine. It's called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, also known as SIBO. This is not a good thing, okay? And this can lead to a number of other illnesses. Guys, I am not a healthcare professional, but I urge you to do your research because this is what's going on. Okay. Now, some people, uh, they know if they're on an empty stomach, they're going to hear all this growling. If they have a, a meeting at work at one o'clock and they've had a busy morning and they didn't have a chance to have lunch yet, they don't want to hear that sound. Yes, it can get embarrassing. So they'll have a candy bar or some kind of food, a little something to quiet it down. And yes, that does quiet it down. What these people are doing, they don't realize they're shutting down their migrating motor complex. If they do that on a daily basis, you're basically training your small intestine to stop the peristalsis. Okay, this is a terrible habit, guys. Now, if you think back to the way our Creator designed us, I believe He created us to go four, five, six hours in between meals without snacking. And if you look back to when we were a world of farmers, okay, what did they do? They got up early in the morning, they had a very big breakfast, they went out into the fields at the break of dawn, okay, probably around 6 a.m., worked until about noon, had lunch six hours later. That's a very healthy thing, spacing out your meals, giving your digestive system the opportunity to do its job. Okay, and that's what I'm here to encourage you guys to do. Work with your immune system the way the good Lord designed it. Okay, give your body a chance to do what God designed it to do, and it will work better. We need our immune systems stronger than ever now to fight off illnesses, disease, viruses. Okay, guys, who lives and who dies often comes down to the condition of our immune system, and there's a whole lot we can do to make it as strong as possible by working with the Lord, okay?
okay, and not working against it. So if this video helped you out, um, you may want to click on the like icon and subscribe to my channel. Take this journey with me, this journey on the pursuit to find more health, happiness, and safety. And I believe the best way to do that is to turn to the Lord and look at how he designed our bodies and drinking uh, good filtered water and, and, and taking in good organic food uh, the way God intended. Work with the Lord, okay? Look at what the Lord told us to eat, okay? Whole foods, look what it talks about in the Bible. Uh, the fruits, the nuts, the, the, the herbs of the field. Um, so take this journey with me, guys, and uh, uh, God bless.